The U.S. Navy has struggled to maintain its aging fleet of Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruisers. These warships, built between 1980 and 1994, were initially intended to serve for about 35 years, but the Navy sought to extend their service life into the 2030s. However, the modernization process encountered significant challenges. Shipyards discovered unexpected problems when cracking open the aging vessels, leading to skyrocketing costs. The Navy faces a tough decision. Due to the costly repair work, it wants to decommission the entire fleet of cruisers by 2027. Congress, however, is reluctant to decommission them too rapidly. The plan is temporarily replacing the cruisers with the upcoming flight of three Arleigh Burke-class destroyers until the new DDG-X-class enters service by 2028.